Autograph gives you the ability to link parameters together without using any expressions. It's important to distinguish linking parameters from sharing parameters. All parameters of any kind always have two connection slots, one to add, connect, or share a generator to the parameter, the one we're particularly interested in here, and one to add, connect, or share a modifier to the parameter. Let's focus on the generator slot. If the slot isn't connected to anything, you'll see a grayed out icon representing a disconnected plug and socket. If the slot is connected to another parameter, its borders will be yellow as if the plug were connected to the socket. If the slot is connected to a generator, its borders will be yellow and the generator's icon will be displayed. Clicking on this icon opens up the quad menu, which gives you several options divided into four boxes. The upper left box is dedicated to sharing and linking. Let's focus on the linking options. Copy link. This copies the parameter which will be the driver. Paste link. This defines that the parameter will be driven by the one defined with copy link. Disconnect. This breaks the link established with the driver. Note that there can only be one driver. And controlling. This lists the driven parameters if the current parameter is linked to them as a driver. In order to create a link between two parameters, start by clicking on the generator slot of the one that will act as the driver, which will open up the quad menu. In the upper left part, select copy link to define the source link. Then go to the parameter that you want to control. Click on its generator slot and select paste link. The generator slot of the driven parameter now contains an icon with a connected plug. The yellow plug on the top right represents the driver where the information comes from. At the same time, the content of the driven parameters is grayed out, which means that it can't be modified locally. A single driver can control several driven parameters. To break the connection on a driven parameter, click on the generator slot of the driven parameter and select Disconnect Link. When a link is created between two parameters, a plug icon appears on the driven one. Clicking on the generator slot again will indicate the name of the controller parameter. The name of the parameter is displayed. You can click on it and scroll directly to it in the timeline. The driver slot has a number surrounded by a yellow oval outline that indicates the number of controlled elements. By clicking on this slot and hovering over controlling, then the number of links, you can display the list of driven parameters on the right. Clicking on one of them lets you scroll directly to this parameter in the stack.